Good afternoon, I'm sorry, actually good morning or good afternoon, whichever time that you're actually doing this. Today we're going to be looking at page 86, right here on the Cambridge book, or actually in the Cambridge book, we are going to be looking at gateway, at modal verse of obligation, prohibition, and advice. Now, today we're going to be looking at these sentences. Now, A, you don't have to have any qualifications to be a rickshaw driver. B, but you have to be fit and strong. C, shop assistants should treat their customers well. D, I mustn't tell them who I really am. E, you must check all the equipment very carefully. F. Some say that we shouldn't be on the streets because we're dangerous. Keep in mind that mustn't and shouldn't mean must not and should not. Now, let's go to part two. Part two involves actually having or understanding what these don't have to, have to, should, mustn't, must, and shouldn't mean. First of all, we have to know that shouldn't, must, mustn't, should, have to, and don't have to are modals of obligation, prohibition, and advice. So we need to put it down here. Which ones are about obligation? Obligation means something that you have to do. The answer is C, should, and B, have to. But you have to be fit and strong. This is saying that you must complete it. It's a necessity, you cannot say no. As well as C, some shop assistants should treat their customers right, or shop assistants. This is something that they have to do. Let's move on. Which one do you think is of no obligation? Don't worry about this. This is just a mistake earlier. If you guessed A, you are correct. Here we're going to put A. Which one do you think it's prohibition? Something that you should definitely not do. Keyword is not. If you guess D, you are correct. Now, here we're going to be taking a look at advice and recommendation. How many do we have left? We used A, we used B, we used C, and we used here what we have E. So we have D and F. Which one do you think is advice or a recommendation? The correct answer is going to be C and F. By the way, here I made a mistake. It's actually this one and not this one. C and F mean advice or recommendation. Make sure you have this down. Now, part two, which we're going to be taking a look at silent words on letters. Normally, many letters have silent words that you don't hear when you're talking. For example, should. Should you're only saying S H O U D. The L is silent. Number one, firefighters. Firefighters should be calm. Which one do you think are omitted or silent letters? Since so we look at right here, L, we know that is going to be should. But can you find others? There are two more in number one.
The answer is going to be firefighters. GH is actually silent. And calm. L is silent. Two. You mustn't talk to the bus driver. You mustn't talk to the bus driver. The T. And we're going to add the L. Number three. Discipline it can be important. Discipline can be